ought to put this bed, well half of the bed because there's two pieces and it's going to go right here. After a little bit of research, I ended up purchasing the full size bed because it does come in two different sections and half of the section I'm able to put in the van and it fits perfectly for my trifold mattress. So it just depends on how big you want your bed, but I wanted mine to be able to fit my my 25 inch wide and 75 inch long trifold mattress. So this is what I purchased guys. And it's real easy to put together, no tools needed. It has the wing nuts on each side with some little arms that you just attach to the little screw part and then you tighten the wing nuts and that's all there is to it. But this is half of the full size frame. Another option would be to get a queen size frame and then you have a little bit wider for each section, but it, then it's 80 inches long instead of 75 inches long. So you just have to figure out what works best for you. But I suggest these kind of frames. I have a twin size frame, but it's 18 inches high and that's just way too high inside the van so i purchased the 14 inch tall option and that's what this is the coleman pot that i previously put in there worked nicely and it was shorter and it fit me physically more perfect but at the same time i didn't want to deal with having to air the cot out with condensation it's great to have it for a camping trip or um, a night or two but if you're constantly inside sleeping in the van every day after day after day the condensation and moisture might lead to mold and I just didn't want to deal with that so I opted to buy this kind of heavy duty bed frame and here's how I've been sleeping for a few days just testing it out waiting until the bed frame arrived but I'm about to set the bed frame in here and then see how how well it works because if this works exactly how I envisioned it and measured then this is what I'm going to be using from now on I have the extra side of the bed frame which is unfortunate that they both don't fit there together it's too wide it's about 54 inches if I set both of them side by side and the narrowest part of the van is about 48 inches Alrighty, you guys so that is my stopping point in that corner I can't go any farther up but it's perfect because I'm just about to the seat right here right there so this ends up being about 26 inches wide and 75 inches long which will work because my trifold like I mentioned is 25 inches wide so it fits perfectly. All right, y'all, moment of truth. 14 inches high, plus a four inch memory foam trifold mattress. I can't sit up completely straight, but I'm pretty straight. I'm like, I'm touching up here, but it's not too crazy. So for my height, this is perfect. For the rest of you guys, probably not, but it's working. It works for me. And <laughs> if you're about five foot, this will work perfectly for you guys. You guys can actually sit here. And I still have a little bit of room here. Let's see. Yeah. I still have room. But now I have to kind of hunch over when I'm cooking here. That's okay. I don't take hours and hours cooking. It's just quick warming up stuff. And then I can lounge more on this side where I can pretty well sit up straight, but I'm like actually on here. So 
but not too bad, not too bad. All right, you guys, again, with the under storage, makes quite the difference. And then birds are super loud, chirping, so happy. <laughs> That's okay. Look at that. Now the thing is, will my milk crates fit in there? If not, then duffel bags, totes, bins, other kind of bins will do, but here we go, guys. Let's make the bed. And there it is. Another awesome bed setup, van life setup with plenty of storage. And yes, the milk crate does actually fit under there. Here's a couple screenshots just for FYI. And so you guys see what I'm talking about. It comes in two pieces, but this is awesome. And I highly recommend it, you guys. I will leave links in the description and pin a comment. Thanks so much for watching Dia's Frugal Life. I'm Dia, and if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe for more future videos. Hit that thumbs up, put a comment on there, all that good stuff. You can also join the channel and become part of our coffee club. Thanks for all your love and support. Bye, guys.